Would you look at this? Fella disappears for like what? I actually don't even know. I think it's been literally a whole week since I've streamed. And what did I say though about the last streams? That I'd actually be going back into the captain. Nine? No way we're 9% through the game, man. We'd, as far as I'm aware, I thought we were like halfway through the game last time. Um, honestly, I can't really remember too much of what was going on, but I do remember saying the last day. Uh, let's see, couldn't have a game saved. Do you want to continue this or we'll start? Uh, continue. I do remember saying, though, that I really, um, I really liked the game, so I was obviously going to continue it and finish it. Um, oh, yeah, so this is, yeah, this guy we're doing, now we can swap bodies. I can't remember what the button was, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right there. Um, other than that, this is probably going to be the birthday stream that I was talking about last week, I think it was. Um, because tomorrow I think I'm just going to actually proper relax. Like, I'm going to probably not even do anything tomorrow. That's like what you consider work-wise. Um, oh yeah, I just click, yeah, I forgot I clicked to do thing. Because <laughs> I was literally using the arrow keys. I was like, wait, what? Why aren't I moving? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um... Yeah, right. There's nothing else really to say other than just get into it, you know? Um, actually, no, weren't we just here? Hmm. Is there anything else here before? Regular monitor says the ship is currently docked to the airlock. For the moment, it's my own beauty. Ah, okay. Body elevator. I mean, I, I assume I should call the elevator first before I even do thing. Captain. Yeah, I've just finished my internal scan of the station. I found the control center for the whole wormhole generator. It is located two floors below you. Actually, now that I, did I even transfer the stream? I actually, legit, hold on, wait, I need to look this up real quick. I don't actually remember transferring the, <laughs> the last captain stream I did. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Studio. Because if that's the case, that stream's probably lost to time now. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, spinning a wheel to see what I play next. I purposely didn't put the captain in the um, title because it's meant to be a surprise to what game. But yeah, no, I... Wow, okay, never mind. It's been, I think, 11 days since I last streamed. Because that's 21st of May. That would have been a day before. Or gone out a day after thing, so... Oh, that's so weird, man. I can't believe it's nearly been two weeks then at that point since I've streamed last. And of course, the <laughs> the moment I leave the window open as well, I was like, oh, the fucking kids around are like at school. So like, you know, it's probably be quieter. So I'll turn off the fan and open a window. But anyway, it is located two floors below you. Oh, that's great. Yes. However, Evel Evelyn is currently working down there with his droids. Okay. I think I know where it is. Uh, I actually, I have actually walked past it as the droid. Any ideas how to lure them away? Not really, but I am detecting a safety case uh, installed around the controls. Sorry, I'm drinking Monster. I'll explain it in a minute. Not really, but I am detecting a safety case installed around the controls. If you can sneak past them somehow and activate the cage, they cannot hurt you. But they will surely notice me in the cage, right? So how can I get out of there after I have generated the wormhole? I'm sorry, but I do not know that. Okay then, thanks. Thanks, computer, for your great calculations. I love the way I could have walked straight on, but I still went to the switch anyway. Let's see, what do we got? That switch, that's a door, body, and then wasn't there? Oh. Oh shit, wait. I didn't mean to actually switch. I mean, is there anything I can actually do on this end whilst I'm here? Uh, I can't open that, I don't think, because I need... To... Oh, yeah, because... Dress ship, it's locked. So I need to find a way there as myself. Yeah, so ship function... Okay, Grant. I think I kind of understand what I'm getting to. And that's just the airlock. Okay. I don't really need to be there. 
And I, oh yeah, I can hide in there as a thing when your man comes in, right? I think that's what's going to happen. Come on, wake up, Captain. Um, I meant to press this, there we go. Red light scanner. Mm, maybe not, actually. Personnel, they're all dead. There's another... Oh, but, 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 but. That's where your man is, I'm pretty sure. Let me try the door first. <laughs> Assembly, disassemble. Oh yeah, this is where your uh, bot was. But wait, wasn't he down here? I can't remember where the droid broke before, but yeah. I don't... Is there anything else I could do? I don't think so. The shit, like, the sound of the ship really does give me, like, Destiny vibes. I'm not gonna lie. She seemed to enter product number, what you want. Ah. <laughs> it didn't receive anything. I love that I didn't even read the rest. I was like, yeah, no, okay, cool. Cool story, bro. I'm assuming I can't get in there, can I? Oh, never mind, I can, apparently. It's so dark in here. I think I'll turn on the lights. I didn't even do that. Here, here's my mouse. Oh, it's Jeff. I found Jeff. Wow. Is he all right? I don't know. He is strapped to some kind of machine, and he seems to be totally shut down. Let me check from here. Looking for droid signs close to you. Oh, Captain. What? I'm afraid they have erased him. There's nothing left of him now. What do you mean? He's right here. It's only his body that you see. His mind is not inside anymore. So there is nothing we can do for him? The only thing you can do is to bring back his body to the ship if you want. Maybe the auto forge could turn it into something useful. If you can get the body down, I can send a homing signal to it. It should then be able to find its way back to the ship automatically. I'm sorry, Captain. Damn. What does the sign say? Reach, generator room, droids are not allowed beyond the- Well, I'm not a droid, am I? I <laughs> just- I'm not a droid, I can- Uh, hi? It <laughs> just- Oh. Your space fleet. I'm glad to see you. So the station is liberated then? I'm afraid not. No? So who are you? How did you get in here? It's a long story, but I came here in my ship and was able to sneak aboard. Were you a part of the fuel cell transport mission a while back? If you're referring to the one to Earth that failed, we are very much a part of the project. The entire station was. We had been working on that for weeks. Well, as part of the uh, technical transmission team from the Earth side, and as you know, something went terribly wrong. I'm not really sure, but I was pulled into the anomaly and got stranded here in the outer regions. Wait, what? So you are from Earth? How the hell did that happen? The fuel cell container couldn't go through, but you could? It makes no sense. Any ideas on what went wrong during the transfer? We tried to figure it out, but we didn't really have that much to work with. The special booster module that we spent almost a year building and preparing just vanished during our tr the transfer. Vanished? Yeah, right in front of our eyes. We had no way to track it or locate it after the transport failure. Oh, excuse me. So what happened here at the station? A few days ago we were attacked out of nowhere. A man who called himself the General forced us to surrender together with his army of droids. Me and the Professor Flintier managed to get away. We've been hiding here ever since. Tell him about uh, tell him about the plan, Stone. Yeah, right. So we have worked out a plan how to get rid of him. Or rather, Flint has worked out a plan. Maybe you can help us with this. If we get our hands on a charged fuel cell, we sh uh, could establish a wormhole that reaches Space Fleet Colony Apollo about six months from here. We could uh, encrypt a distress message within the wormhole's transmission frequency. 
Part of their army division can then jump here and take back this place. Do you have any spare fuel cells here on the station? What I'm about... What I'm about to tell you is highly classified information. Officially, we send all of our space cells uh, back to Earth in the transport mission, but there is one left here on the station. Space Fleet Command decided to keep one here. Why? I don't know. Bad idea to put all your eggs in one basket or something to that extent. So where is it? We had to hide it, so we put it deep inside the droid spare part dispenser in the assembly room. I'm not sure how to get it out from there. But take this tool, watch it, or with it, uh, you should be able to open the service hatch of the machine. That should help you uh, get out the fuel cell. <laughs> I have a fuel cell right here. Mm, now I think I'll get the other one. Uh, you guys wait here, I really need to check on something. Okay. Okay, so we actually have uh, some survivors. And if, maybe if I help them out, they might actually um, join my crew. Maybe, potentially. What does the sign say? Uh, droid lock. Pressing this button will activate droid access to the room for 20 seconds. Warning, this room is not suitable to be visited by conscious droids. Interesting. Maybe it's for Jeff, like, to hide in there. He's totally shut down. Okay. Saw blade, droid torso... Maybe I should look at the screen first, and then <laughs> see what the button is. Uh, remove head procedure. When the droid is secured to the machine, the neck bolts will be released. Remove the head carefully. Secure to the machine. Place the head on the neck. Attachment ring. Okay, um... Okay, can I... Dronium extractor. Release. There. I've released him now. Good. I'll just send him the homing, homing signal then. Well, that's a load off my mind. What's the button do? Nothing happens. Cool. Okay, so I need to go back to the droid assembly and then get thing, right? I'm pretty sure that's what they were saying. So it should literally just be in here. Um, it was literally this yoke, but what's... Uh, did I get anything? I, I don't even know if I got anything, to be honest. It's too dark. It's open and too small for me to reach inside. To help me look inside this machine. I mean, I don't think the cat's going to help, to be honest. I mean, what else can we do? Can we not... Can we seriously not just, like... Unless... No, because we can't get the droid. The cat would probably be the best thing, right? Unless I can purposely get the arm of this. Effect in some manner, next parts, parts, industrial welder. Let's see. Try and lure Ableton away from the control center so you can enter that security cage down there. <laughs> this is a pre recorded message. Shuttle is currently in sleeping mode on board the uh, Carbonicus. All requests while not in landing mode should be addressed to ship instead of shuttle. Okay. Do I really have to convince the cat to get in? I actually just don't know what I need to do, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, Joe, what is turning the power off going to do? Just, like, it turns off the power of those things, like. Yeah, see, that's already done. That's already used. And there's the fuel cell. 
I could just go back with what we have, but at the same time, I want to... Just let me double check to make sure I'm not missing out on something. Like, I seriously don't think I'm missing something from this. Oh, unless I am... Wait, maybe I am meant to come around with the bot. Don't mind me, just, uh... You know, just casually taking a walk around, don't mind me. <laughs> just don't, don't mind me at all. What else do you want? Shape metal. I'm trying to think, like, what else can I actually do to... Hmm. There's gotta be something. Actually, to be fair, maybe I should just leave the droid bot in here. And then use my normal body to get out. It must be weird seeing, technically, himself just, like, as he passes along. Um, actually, maybe I could go back to ask them, like, if there's anything we can get for it, like. Head one of our droid spare part dispenser. They shot me, I can't believe it. We didn't stand a chance. You're scientists, not soldiers. Where did they hit you? The bastards got me in the shoulder, but I'm okay. We managed to stop the bleeding for now. That's good. Rests. Anything else? Nope, just that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what else I'm meant to do here, like... I don't think that'll do anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, no need to turn off the power, right? Droid torso, and recycled screen button that does nothing, droid head removal machine. Oh, I think I get it now. I don't even know if- oh yeah, wait, it won't work, will it though? For captain. Scan biological life form, might be a restricted area. Uh, so then I need to go to the other side. <laughs> Come on. I am here. Is this a bad idea? Probably. From humanoid droids, I can operate it with uh, this yellow button. I think there has to be a droid inside the floor mark. And oh yeah, so you need to be, yeah you need to basically be here. Then I need a swap. And then I need you to press the button. Assuming this does work, and I'm not destroying my own droid. Okay. Uh, what now? <laughs> just So, when droid is secured to the machine, the neck lock bolt will be released. Secured to the machine, place the head on the neck attachment ring. The head bolt will automatically lock in place. Also, am I... 
Throughs. Okay, wait. But what do I do, though? What's my, like, action? What's next? Nah, I'd say we keep that on. Maybe I go back now to the thing where the fuel cell is. Would be heart ripping machine. Okay. I'm assuming that I need the head, but like, do, will it really light up thing for me? Cause I'm as like again, I'd assume it had to be. The yeah. See, there we go. <laughs> Am I? Oh wait, that was five something something, wasn't it? Oh, I get it now. So yeah, you swap in. And then you actually, like, fucking look at the number, 384, and then you go from there. Captain, say to the player, happy early birthday. Unfortunately, the captain doesn't speak to us. He's in his own universe, but yeah. Thanks, Alex. Ugh. How's it going? I know it's been a while since I've streamed. I literally looked at it, and on YouTube, it's been, like, I think roughly 11 days since I've streamed, which is so mad to think about. Actually, maybe it's less. Because I did do other streams before, but... Oh, excuse me. I'm not too sure now. 384. Okay, that's first. Just give me two seconds. Three... I'm just making sure. Yeah, 387. There we go. Um... Oh, that wasn't right. Your legs are dying and you're tired. I I'm fine myself. I, um... What do we call it? I'm trying to finish this monster drink. And oh yeah, I was going to explain that earlier. Why I even have monster? And it's literally because um, my workmates, uh, literally yesterday, like we were just like cleaning up the place and just making it like fresher and stuff. And like we were hoovering a room, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, Joe, do you mind just like coming over here for a minute?" And, like, for a minute, I thought, oh, do you want me to come over to Hoover? And they're like, oh, no, dude, just come over for a minute. And then, all of a sudden, like, they open the door in another room, and it, I just hear, happy birthday. I fucking died, man. Like, I, I was just, I just didn't know what emotion I needed to show. Other than just the uneasiness of just having people that you've only known for, like, two, three months, like, saying happy birthday to you. But it was, it was a pretty wholesome moment, though. Um, we had like a Black Forest Gato kind of Yule Log kind of cake and like well most people had it but then there was two people that couldn't have it because one person was um, allergic to soya I think and then another person was allergic to coconut stuff so they didn't have it just in case um, and I fucking gave everybody hope because my work mother was like the first to offer one and then my manager and then everybody else was just, you know, all coming in and giving us a hug as well, like. And they also gave me a card as well, which I have, um, oh. which I have right here. It's my first uh, birthday card this year. And this has to be like a keeper of a card because like, when, like when I open it, right, like I look inside, it's like. There's so many different names in here from various different people. I'm not going to count them all out now, but, like, it's really wholesome. Like, even for the new people that have just joined us and they're, like, already signing cards and wishing me a happy birthday and all that, it's pretty wholesome, like. I, I don't know. And then the reason I have Monster is because um, my work mother was like, oh, well, it, we knew, like, you were bringing in Monster and energy drinks every so often, so we thought of just getting you a cray. Hopefully you like it. And they got me a Mango Loco crate of Monster, the four pack. Uh, so now I have Monster to drink through. <laughs> yeah, it's not as um, it's not the same as I remember it, but still nice. Yeah. Yeah, my, my birthday was celebrated early yesterday. Um, today, obviously, I'm doing the stream, which is also kind of a bit of a celebration of my birthday. And then tomorrow is my actual birthday, which hopefully um, I won't be streaming tomorrow unless I really want to. Because I kind of want to, like, not stream, not edit Sherry Arbor's story, the videos and the um, light novel series. I don't want to do 
this, this, and this. I just want to, like, just chill tomorrow, you know? Maybe just go out for a walk or something. And then just have a in-home party. My birthday is far away. Will Shrek be able to celebrate with you this year? Because, like, I don't know if he was in far away or not. 384, that's it, by the way. Just give me a minute to actually input that. 384. There we go. Got the fuel cell. And then... I can't remember the head, so I, I need to actually look that up. 5, 4, 6. That's it. 5, 4, and 6. But yeah, I stream so little nowadays that the cat ears are still on me. 5, 4, 6. I think, like, once this stream is over, it's only the third day... Like, third stream with these cat ears on. Got back my droid head. Okay, now I need to go back into the droid assembly. Put my head back on my body. Go to the scientists. Tell them I got the fuel cell and listen to what they have to say. And then hopefully I could get some more members for the crew. Because I already let one guy down. Remove his head. Can I operate this? Can I... How do I put it back on? When a droid is secured to the machine, place the head on the neck attachment ring and the head bolt will automatically lock. Ah. Uh, remove. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I need to do this. Sorry, just give me a minute. My uh, brain's. Uh, my brain is literally just loading. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're gonna do hot tub stream when one more follower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that could have, oh no no it's not gonna be IRL you don't want to see my fucking hairy ass like on stream I'll definitely get banned in two seconds like the captain says release the xenomorphs hi e yeah no it's gonna be like um I'm most likely gonna have to set up the stream in a different way and basically have thing I'm gonna have to make a new model as well. Which is might be challenging because I think underneath my jumper is literally just void. It's just a space. <laughs> like, I'm just a neck and floating arms. I don't actually have a body underneath. So I'm going to have to fill all that in properly without changing my face too much. But yeah. I just found out the most DJ thing going. Go on then, Amelia. It's worth the new Josephine. Uh-huh. Star, star, star. I'm assuming that's a link. Ah. It's just, ah. Um. Yeah, this one. Fuel cell. Wow, we found it already? Did anyone see you? Nope, so far so good. Uh, whisper to you it. Hold on, give me a new no memento. That's what I should do for that person that kept coming to chat about um, wanting me to check out their channel. I should actually just, like, get them to whisper it to me. Because I was looking up their channel, but I literally couldn't find it. Like, uno momento. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Haven't had, um, yoke yoke in the yoke. Haven't had a monster in a bit, so it's already getting to my system. Uh, pause that. Where am I looking? Oh, yeah, up here. That's where whispers are. Uno switch, uno momento. Uh, this one. Oh, this fucking song. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'd be DJ, would it? You just got uno momento. <laughs> I did, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. This is Nyaner's, um, Parody cover of Say So, and it's literally the Japanese word Say So, which is... Hold on, I need to... It's cringe. I will admit, yeah, it is kind of cringe. Have you seen them? Um, Nyan's Not Hot? It's also, um... Eh. Say So, meaning neat and clean, tidy, trim. Uh, Japanese use uh, with wholesome when talking about VTubers. So Say So, like, it's wholesome, basically. Japanese term... So, in terms of say-so, there's fucking nobody that say-so. Everybody's, um, the opposite of say-so. <laughs> Ye. Yeah. 
Yeah, because this is... Oh my god, it's only two years ago. I know she cringes at, like, um... All you had to do was scroll down. It's in the description. Oh yeah, I just seen it there when I fucking expanded the, um... Uh, description. I didn't think she bothered to put it in the description of what it actually meant. What was it? There was, like, one, um... Oh, I think it was a Sea Dog VA video. Sea Dog VA. Um. No, I don't think I'll find it. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I think I see it here. I need to just get this context real quick. <laughs> oh no, that that would not fly nowadays. That's that's all I'm gonna say about what I'm looking at right now. I'll just <laughs> I'll I'll leave it there. Um. Right. Let me move that there. Let me keep this here, and then let me quit that there. Because I'm going to continue with the captain now. But yeah, as I was saying, like, in the last stream to this game, like, spinning the wheel was probably the best choice I had, like, or have done for a follower goal so far, just because it's like, you get to play games you just never played before, and you might actually like them. Thank God, hold in the moment. Uh, I'll just take this a bit. It opens a wormhole over to Apollo Colony. What is he doing? Send a message we talked about. Here, take this. What? Do you want me to have it? Yeah, well, I cannot. I cannot leave my colleague here. Basically, he has no balls. Maybe you can help us again and start the wormhole with modified fuel cell. Should I say where I'm from? Should you plan to say anything about how to get rid of the droids by the command? Uh, okay, I'll give it a try. Fantastic. Everything is in your hands. We'll just wait here. I might try and, like, actually, um... If I could do this right, maybe they might join me as crew. I don't know. Yeah, there's the modified one. I can't remember where I go, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, shit. I need to detach this so I can actually use this body. There you go. Um, actually, I just need to see real quick. Does the droid have what I have or not? Nah? No, okay. It makes sense, though, because, like, why would the inventories be the same when they're two different uh, people? Hmm. All right, let's see. At least one fuel cell back to Earth defense. Uh, smuggler countdown. Uh, my reminders. So, I, oh no, yeah, no, we're already here. Siege, option, interspace fleet sector, need, prayer, smuggler route, beam disruptor, countdown. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, wait, that's, yeah, that's just hiding all shit. Okay. I'll let myself out first. Oh, wait, no, no. I have to let the droid out first because of the fucking thing sensor, I think. Let me just try it first. Because I'm pretty sure I can't get out. Oh, never mind. I can't get in. Um, Okay, I can go th down here. But how do I sneak myself through here? <laughs> Unless I go back up here. I'm not gonna lie, I've already forget like forgotten what we were talking about with the fuel cell like. Oh thank Buzzy Bell for following us. Hmm, I wonder if that was Thing that just followed there, if that's just someone random that actually did that. Oh jeez. I forgot I had a notification for that as well. But you no, know, thank you so much, like. 
Now I'm forced to do a hot tub stream at some point in the future. Totally wasn't told to be here by a certain someone. Happy early birthday, by the way. Thanks, Buzzy. Thank you, Buzz. Very good. Do you know what you've done? <laughs> no, never. You know, I had a suspicion. My height, like, my scent, height and senses for surprises were in. Oh. Oh, that's the old one that just went off there. Of course, you can't see that. Cause I... Do they still go off even when I turn them off? Wait. Display, where is it? Activity. Didn't ping you thousand times and send you snap. No, 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 no. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, you're talking to each other and I'm just interrupting as you're talking to us. No, never. Um, hold on, I just want to make sure. There's sound alerts. The new alerts are Twitch integrated. Activity, that's this. Yeah, that's that up there. Yeah, the other alerts, I don't know why it's still making a sound. Is there any way I can turn that off? Shut down source when not vi- Yeah, sh there we go. Shut down source when not visible. That'll probably turn them off, the old ones. I should uh, customize the uh, Twitch ones, though, because they do kind of look very default. Uh, what means bench follower goals? So they're basically just follower goals that are just not in rotation right now. And at some point in the future, I've got to put them in rotation. And actually, I just realized that I need to... Um, you know, the original title of this stream was actually going to be... Um, it was going to be... Captain, the hot tub stream is incoming. But like now it's more like, Captain, it's the player's birthday tomorrow. Because um, I know, I think Luca... Is it Luca or is it? Yeah, Luca was like, oh, you should celebrate your birthday and that and whatnot. And that's literally the only reason I'm actually making a whole event out of my birthday. But yeah, and now it's going to be incoming. Yeah. Meaningful endings. Yeah, if you leave now, you will be unable to play this adventure again until you start a new game. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess I'm not leaving. <laughs> Just, I guess that's not the way to go, huh? So where do I, do I just like, what do I do? I already, I've already forgotten what I need to do. Like, uh, okay, wait. Let me switch to my droid self because I know I can put my droid down this way. Because I can't go down there as the captain because if they see me, they're going to like probably kill me. Can I bring the boxes up? Oh, I get, I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. What I need to do is bring the barrel that's in the B room. Bring that up, hopefully. What's that sound? Wait, hold on, wait, wait. No, no, stop. Why are you, wait, stop! Fine. I guess we'll find out what the sound is there. But basically, I think I need to get the barrel in here. Bring it up to the captain where I am now. Put myself in the barrel, bring myself down, and then we can open this safe. Let me just move myself a bit. But obviously not onto the elevator, because I don't want to <laughs> arouse suspicion. Um, but yeah, let me just... I know, people who, like, recycle these and, like, get money for them are cringing right now. They don't want to hear a can being crushed. But unfortunately, in Ireland, we're fucking cheapskates. We don't have any systems like that, unfortunately. If you recycle your uh, glass bottles, you just get a pat on the back and that's it. Yeah, see, I can carry this, can't I? Yeah, there we go. Now, this doesn't look suspicious, though. One of the droids just carrying a fucking barrel around with them, like... But yeah, no, with the hot tub stream stuff, I'm gonna have to actually now fucking... Put some thought and time into what I'm going to do for that. I might even need to have a different layout for this like scene in OBS as well. Because this scene kind of doesn't suit it. But I'll, I'll work something out anyway. I'll have a good thought about it. It probably won't be tomorrow though, the stream. It will be the next stream after this one though. I can almost guarantee that unless something else happens in the meantime.
All right, Captain. In the barrel. <laughs> Just get in the barrel, sir. Oh, can I? Oh, do I have to do this? Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. Um. Wow, no way. It's a metal barrel. There you go. Um, there we go. See, look how intelligent I am sometimes. Sometimes I actually have brain cells, and it kind of, like, it really does surprise me sometimes when I know, like, my brain cells are functioning. I th like, this is the side effects of, like, stopping yourself from watching TikToks and YouTube shorts. I don't even see Instagram reels or anything like that either. Now, I mean, in a row, but I still see them individually. But I don't go, like, doomer scrolling on them, like, anymore. I'm glad I kind of changed that habit. But now, like, I'm running out of YouTube videos to watch. My Netflix subscription ran out. And... Whatchamacallit. I still need to read through the manga I bought, like, not too long ago. Uh... Why? Oh, yeah, I need to drop it, that's why. There we go. Uh, should I do that for... Maybe not. Hold on. Let me just check this first. I'm pretty sure this is like no, isn't it? It's locked. And then, let's see. No. Droid shields. I'm pretty sure if we mess with that, your man comes down. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this first. Am I actually just going to hang here? Oh, no. I won't be able to. Yeah, see. It's going to go back up. I'm guessing I have to do it with the droid first. Yeah, there, wait, no, there's no way I'm going to do that fast enough, is there? No, shit. It. Please. Oh, there we go. Right, Captain, get in the barrel. Quick, run. Okay, wait, no, just see box. Jump in that real quick. Just in case he comes in when I'm doing shit. Head. Head? What is it? It's a Space Fleet branded droid head. It looks to be in good condition. Oh, and a container of dronium as well. Wait, is that not fucking Jeff's? Maybe I should pick that up when I'm in my own body. Oh, okay, cool. Fine. Let's see. Oh my, it looks like a full dronium container. This thing can be worth quite a lot on the black market. It could also be used as a part, as a part to forge those suppressor uh, field disruptor or destru destructors needed to help space fleet outposts. Can I pick it up? Oh. Fine, Captain, come out. <laughs> Just come on, man. You know what you're doing. Sure, but yes, you know what you're doing now. Hop out that barrel, like. Take off your top. Get in the hot tub. Okay, I don't know if I should, like... Okay, so that does thing. If I have the droid... I'm assuming I leave you here. Swap. Oh, wait, no, I need to... I need to get in the box first. Bring the box out to where they are. And then go from there. I'm pretty sure. Almost confident. That moment when you realize for the hot tub streams you nearly look like you're probably going to be naked. Because like, you don't even... You're, you literally never see the bottom half of my body. Like right now I'm wearing jeans on the model, but... It's not very obvious when I don't do like a... Oh, come on! Ah, oh, no, I can't go up high enough. I'm assuming I can just... <laughs> That's not dangerous at all, to just leave my body right in front of a droid, like... What is that sound? Oh, I'm hiding. Two giga field generators, a key part of any artificial wormhole creation kit. Oh, wait, actually, that would make more sense. Hold on. <laughs> Just. Okay, before I do my stupid plan, let's actually recollect the brain cells. 
Oh, shit, jeez. I thought I was going to evict myself from the thing as well, like... Just destroy my chances of living, like... Okay. And then we, uh... Drop. Swap. Pop. Generator. Wait, what is he saying? Oh, can I not? I thought that was the whole point of it, wasn't it? Huh. Well, never mind. Back in the box. Uh, pick that up. Go back this way. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, I can't leave myself up there. I can't disturb them gonna leave you there oh yeah because all the droids are gonna be off so like I'm gonna actually be able to get up and do something there now the question is am I gonna be able to do it fast enough actually sure, we'll leave it the way it is we'll we'll build a bit of suspense for it like oh, I've run out of water that's bad oh I did Oh, wait, there's glass. What could it possibly be for? Mess with the enclosure. I don't want to trip any alarms. Okay. Glad I didn't actually miss out on it. Shields offline. Droids. Disconnect. What? Droid. Hmm. Must have disconnected. Better go and restart it. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. Can I swap? Oh, wait. Yeah, give, give him time, Joe. Because if I get out now, he's going to, like, see me. Just do it. I don't care what it is. Just do it. Oh, did I even get... Wait, did I get the Dronium? Wait. Oh, I did. I did. Sorry, Jeff. Has to be done. Captain. Yeah, ship? I can see from here what problem is. You have to rephase the amplifier buffer of the inner transmission system. Can you help me? Of course. I'm already connected to transmission control station here. Just take a moment. <laughs> a long moment later. Okay, cool. This guy definitely hasn't switched the thing back on by now, by the way. The droids. We definitely have time for this. I'm not... Stressing. Hi. What is this? Who are you? Wait a minute, didn't I run into you a while back? Yeah, you and that space fleet guy with the dronium droid. Well, well, hello again, Captain. Uh, hello? How did you manage to sneak on board this station undetected? And what are... <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're doing. You actually managed to lock yourself inside the protection chamber. That's pathetic and laughable. <laughs> Well, I guess you could stay there, like a caged animal while I'm working. Don't hesitate to open the chamber if it gets lonely in there. There, I'm finally done. You can go ahead now, Captain. Thank you, ship. Oh, shit. Yeah, fella, you might be fucked here, I don't know. I'm, j I'm just saying it might potentially be your downfall here. Ah, uh, yeah, you might want to surrender. Uh-oh. Droids, this party just got crowded. We are leaving. Now. Okay, can my droid body still stay? After watching the space fleet forces appear out of nowhere, Evelyn ordered all his droids to leave with him in a hurry. That's not going to bite us back in the ass later. The captain went down to Airlock B where the general had just left from and waited for the troops to arrive.
Freeze. Don't move. Hands up. Okay, okay. Take it easy. We're on the same side. Are you Eveleton? What? I'm Captain Well. Answer me. Are you Eveleton? No, why would I answer yes? It's not him. Room cleared. Oh, <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna ask anything else? Go, go, go. Yeah, you can, yeah, put your hands down now. I was gonna say, like... You seem friendly. Good afternoon to you, Captain. I'm Admiral Pitbull. Nice to see you're still in solid condition. I hope my boys and girls didn't scare you. Are you the one responsible for the wormhole? I had help uh, from two brave scientists. I did the groundwork, at least. Help two brave scientists. Brave civilians. I don't believe it. Ha. Did you write the message that came with the wormhole? No, that would be one of the scientists. They're upstairs. One of them is badly hurt and needs medical assistance. Okay, could you please take me to them? No problem. Thank you uh, for all your help here, Admiral. Those machines would have torn the station apart if it wasn't for you and your men. No problem. But it's not only thanks to me. You also have to thank Captain Wellmu over here. He took a great risk getting the wormhole started. Oh, of course. Thank you so much, Captain. Now, we have to see how badly the station got damaged. What do you say, Professor? Should we all get back to the control center and run some tests? I guess we should. Will my friend here be okay? Yeah, he'll recover. He's in good, yeah, good hands now. You better come with us also, Captain. Well, am I arrested now for doing stuff? Okay, let's see now. Oh, looks like everything is actually okay here. The generator is still working and the dimension field is still up. Wonderful. And just so you know, my orders are to take over here and protect the station from now on. The main priority for us is still to figure out what happened during the transport mission. I'm glad you're uh, staying here. It's such a tragedy what happened. All the people, I know. My troops will start immediately with the uh, cleanup process. Anyway, report back to me if you find anything. Of course, sir. So, Captain. Of course we want to help you in any way we can now. The most important thing is to get that fuel cell of yours back to Earth. Um, if I am correct, you are keeping that fuel cell inside a Type 4 force field, right? Yep, that's right. It was specially designed for keeping fuel cells stable for long durations. Um, that's one problem. You'll have to keep traveling in your own ship. But I guess I can still grant you some equipment to aid you on your way. We have with us some top-rated stone uh, rockets that will soon... You soon will call your best friends. They're extremely powerful and not cheap, mind you, so use them wisely. I'm forever grateful for your assistance you can provide. Hey, we are all space fleet here. I'll send over Private Kirby to equip your ship with the launch module ASAP. Someone just tried uh, scamming me, lol. How oh, what did they do? What did they even say? It's good that you noticed it as well. Again, thank you. They will definitely come in handy. Check whispers. Why are you going to try and scam me? <laughs> it's just like... Whoa! Josephine, click on this link! You'll get 12,000 Robux for free! No way! Why isn't there... Oh, there we go. There's the whisper. Okay, I see it's a Discord link. I'm Because it's not YouTube, I'm just going to double check that. And whatever virus total says to me is what I'll decide to do if I look at it or not. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't clicking that link. I see malwares.com, URL checker. Hmm, yeah, maybe I'll just uh maybe I'll just leave that be. <laughs> I, I won't open that. Yeah, that's what I said in virus total. Hold on, let me pull up virus total for you. We'll have a look. So see, this is what I use to check links and shit, like virus total. There's the URL. You paste it in there. And usually it takes a bit of time to load, but it's saying this here anyway. If I see red or even orange, I usually don't click that link. Um, may differ from commercial off-the-shelf product. The company decides a particular setting with which the engine should run in virus total. So, yeah. That's what it says there anyway. 
Oh, no. Is AI Sponge banned? Wait, AI Sponge. That's weird. It is, yeah. It's P-O-N-G. Well, I, I need to check if this is back. Or if it's gone. No! AI Sponge is gone. Oh, oh wait, no. It's, is it back? It is. Yay, let's go. We got AI Sponge. Or at least YouTube does. Um, what else? I see the same attachment again. Just like... Some rando account texts me. Yeah, that's when you know it's already bad. When a random account just texts you out of nowhere. To be fair with me, there's a reason. Because I do say in my um, rules that like if you're going to talk business, like just de DM me on Discord. But yeah... Uh, well, I guess I should get going then. Yeah, I guess you should. We'll stay here and keep the station safe until we know exactly what happened here. Good luck out there, Captain, and give us give the Union a kick in the teeth from us. Captain, yes? Just want to let you know that I've reset the wormhole generator. So is it possible to use it again? We have never initiated two different wormholes so close to each other before, but it should be safe. <laughs> it should be. If you have uh, the extra resources to use, that is. A fuel cell and a container of dronium. Oh, I need a container of dronium. We don't have the dronium. I got AO, they go. Uh, hey, if you're you, we're given a thousand pound right now. What are you going to use it for? I say alcohol and tobacco. They go, really? <laughs> Just, really? Okay, thank you very much. A thousand pound, eh? Yeah, again, money as well is also a bad sign. People offering you random money out of nowhere. Like, unless I get a verified message from Mr. Beast on Twitter, I'm not, like, going to click on it. Yeah, ship. If you want, I can send Jeff's body back to the station. You could extract the dronium from it and use it for the wormhole generator. Yeah, go on, extract it. I mean, Jeff's already fucking gone anyway, so we might as well, like... As you wish, Captain. I mean, if we can fast track our time here, <laughs> just shakes him around like a little coffee cup, like. Yeah, he's not totally shut down, Captain. He's actually fully dead, like. I say, yup, and then they say, I'm giving out a thousand pounds to five people on my Instagram. And I'm given out because I'm earning a lot through uh, Forex. And we see it will help some families and individuals. So you're lucky today. The account was legit, but I'd say it got hacked. Probably so, yeah. But yeah, if I was getting sent links, um, if I was sent a link, I always run it through virus toll. I wouldn't like do thing like I wouldn't open it immediately myself. Just have to be a bit careful of that sort of stuff now. And they're using and abusing until they change the password. Yeah. Hopefully someone gets on that soon. Because it is a shitty thing to be taken over an account like that. Why'd you go up that side? Oh wait, where's your man here? Oh, I can just see. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, no way, I could just put it in, can't I? I think I could just use it. I mean, we could always set back stuff and say, droid head. Actually, before I even do this, I'm going to go back downstairs. Uh, oh, that was just a screenshot of the Instagram I reported. Uh, yeah, as you should, honestly. It was at this moment no, that, that he, he knew. knew. He, he fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah, that's the one alert that hasn't really changed. That alert is probably going to stay like that because it's just like, it's a different system the sound alerts are used through. I'm sorry, Captain, I cannot let you in. It's only our own staff that is allowed on board the ship. Wait, didn't... Oh, wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. Where am I off to? I need... To go back up to the droid room, see if I can do anything with that droid head. Uh, I knew it was a scam from the get-go. 
Oh, yeah, no, it's very obvious, you know. Again, like, so some random account texting out of nowhere about giving money out, like. Unfortunately, in this world, money is not free. And you just have to live with that factoid. If you want money so badly, you earn it. Wait. Oh, I, I'm going fucking wrong way again. But the, uh, when they said they were going to pay me so I could buy alcohol and tobacco, I knew it was a scam. That as well, yeah. Especially if they're like a kind of charity or org that are like trying to help families out. And, and you're just outright saying like, oh yeah, I'm going to just spend it on alcohol. Like, I'm just going to abuse it. Like, I'm not even going to use it for good. Like. Initializing main core startup program complete. Hello there, humanoid. Are you my are you my mother? Uh, not mother, Captain. So what should I do now? Oh, you can go wait in the ship. Okay, I'll do that. Yup, we got a fucking crewmate. Let's go. Further instruction required. Where exactly is our ship? Oh, I'm sorry. You just take the elevator up to level one and go straight down the hall. You really can't miss it. That is confirmed. After arriving, I'll be on standby until I see you again. Um, nobody in the right mind would pay someone to drink and smoke. I wonder what they would say if I said, hire a hitman to kill like, the king of England. Like, uh, And by the way, jokes, just in case anybody watching this in the future, but like, um, <laughs> the account would still probably be like, oh yes, we see, okay, yeah. So just, you know, click the link, bro, and have fun. Um, okay, so we made the head now, so I can do that. Oh, that's good, we'll pay you. <laughs> Did you just collude to kill the King of England? Yeah, we'll pay you for that. <laughs> just, <laughs> we'll just, we'll just pay you for that, you know? Oh, yeah, wait, I need the cage. There is no king anyways. There is. The, um, what's his face, um... Isn't he not, like, technically the King of England as well? Oh shit, it worked as well. True, yeah. I mean, hey, one time in the future, if the, um... If Scotland and Wales leave and they join Ireland, bro, we can make the, um, United, uh, Celtic... Um, what was it? The... United Celtic Kingdom. I think that'd be such a cool fucking thing to happen. Like, Scotland land. Scottish. Oh, it's the droid. Are we ready to leave? Uh, I guess so. This is very satisfactory to hear. I say it like scooter. Scottish. Oh, I got the middle option this time for this. I have never got the middle option, I don't think. Adventure summary. The gains and losses on this adventure. We got res, the wormhole started, stone rocket launcher, six stone rockets, and a fuel cell. Cool. And there should be another save point as well. Now, because I've opened that portal, I wonder if I can just go straight back to Earth or if I need to go through any more loopholes. Welcome back, Captain. Uh, we no longer need to be docked to space station. Could you take us out? Hold on. So, what kind of droid are you? I'm a res droid, designed and manufactured by Space Fleet. My main purpose is to supervise the energy levels in a hyper-recoil engine. Do you have a hyper-recoil engine somewhere here? Uh, ship, can you answer that? Certainly. I'm afraid that I am running a pure magnetic displacement engine in my core. I don't have any... Uh, recoil system installed, sorry. Thank you, ship. So I guess that's off the table. Do you have any other functions? I seem to have a small task software stored in my subdrive system. I think it was installed by the engineer who put me together. What is it? It's called barista.java. I guess I can make coffee. <laughs> Follow things. Uh, we already have a food replicator for that. Oh. Well, you'll have to start learning our systems now. You can use the workstation on the top floor. Come on, I'll show you. Oh yeah, because before I couldn't access that and now I have a droid for it. Here you are. 
You can find all you need here. Report back to me if you have any questions. Confirmed. Uh, that was the bio chair to connect to Yoke, so I just need to go down to Thing now. I mean, hey, is this actually going to end the adventure so soon? I'm actually kind of scared that I will. Piece of paper. Five. I don't even remember where that's from. Yes, Captain. Uh, how long till Sun Blaster? The Sun Blaster will reach our solar system 640... Bro, we're 641 days early if this takes us back to Earth, but I doubt it will. Another thing. Never mind. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> just, I didn't just set up this portal for, like, no reason, you know? Okay, so I realized something the moment we went through the portal. I don't have a fucking fuel cell. I... We used the wormhole once to send the fucking troops through to help us out. Then I used it again to get back to Earth. Okay, new, <laughs> different plan. We can't just go through the portal. Oh wait, shit. I need to go farther back then, right? Because... Okay, so wait, wait, we have the droid made. Do we have the fuel cell? We don't have the fuel cell. Why do we not have the fuel cell? How far back am I? I don't have the switch option. So the other droid's out of it. Okay, yeah, you guys are around. I'm so confused now. So, wait, is the portal... I can't tell if the wormhole is up or not. Because... Yeah, no, because that would be... Wait, why am I even going that way? Just go up that way. Where's my fuel cell? From Jeff, from Jeff. Safe opened. I need to go back to a certain point where like... Actually, why am I going this far back? I could literally just go to... You know, so that would be end of adventure. Created another droid. No, I already went back there, didn't I? I'm so confused on where I need to go. Okay, wait. What, what do I have here? Okay, yeah, grand. Okay. Then get the dronium. Okay, this time I'm going to save my ship. Because we still need the fuel cell for thing. I can't just make the portal... Until I know for certain, like, that we'll have a fuel cell to go back with. Oh, but that's fucking years away, isn't it? But then again, we still have 600 odd days, so it wouldn't be any harm to go backtrack for it. If there's even one left, like. Or even go to local black market and see if they can cook up one. Man, just when I thought I was done as well, and there's still another adventure ahead of us. Where's the droid? Okay, never mind. I need to go make the droid. Oh, yeah, wait. I still have the droid head, don't I? Yeah. Okay, we, 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 we make the droid first. It would be a mistake not to make our lovely droid. Why do I have to wait for you to go? I literally will just follow you up at this point. There you go. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. 
There we go. Righto, uh, you're here. Oh yeah, there won't be losses this time because I didn't actually use thing this time. <clears throat> and I'm pretty again. It's like six hundred odd days is a long time. <laughs> Just <laughs> spam the mouse. Um. Okay, yeah, so this time we don't have portal because that's taken over by Hostel, that's a merchant, Desert Planet, Sun Blaster. Oh, I didn't even... Was the Sun Blaster? Oh. Wait, the Sun Blaster is that far out? Oh my god. There's Earth. And that's where we are. Where's the other... I wish I could go to that. Hostile ships. Trade. Trade and pay. Celtic. Junkyard. There's a barrier where we were going to go through. Ugh, maybe I have no choice, because maybe I already got the, um, all the fuel cells I could. Because I used one fuel cell to return a fellow back to the hive mind. I got one fuel cell on me before getting on board, then we modified another one we got in the ship itself. I swear I left one behind. That's just pulsing, because that's where we are. And then, yeah, that's just a sun blaster. Merchant. That would take a long time. I'm Forty. I mean, 42 days is not that bad, but, like... And if I do straight to there, that's going to go through thing. Buy advice, stay clear, and avoid contact. Wait, and we have the rockets... We have to be very sparing of that. Uh, we don't we don't talk about what's in the package. I just remember there what's in the package. Uh, it's not really nice. Battle sim. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a turn based system, like this joke. Fuck. I guess I am just going straight back to Earth without the wormhole. Cause I'm not traveling. I think before they did mark like where the uh, things were. Oh wait, I think I can find out. Wait. Info. Fragment. No, Jeff Tronium. Research. Picture of space fleet, the unions, ship status, my reminders, smuggler rail barrier control, enter space fleet sector, prepare for battle, deliver at least one fuel cell, smuggler rail barrier control. Okay, so yeah, there's literally, I don't think there's any other fuel cells in play anymore because I'm too far away to have even got the other ones. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, I did get them all. Wait, one of them's on the ship. Wait. Get out. Wait, I forgot how to get out of seat. There we go. It's <laughs> just... How, how do I sit up from chair? How do I do this thing? I think it's just right here. If I remember right. Yeah, see, quantum storage joke. Right? Yeah, the fuel cell is perfectly safe in there. Oh, so I panicked for no reason. We're literally... Oh, but wait, no, are we docked now? I'm assuming we're still docked or I can still go back, right? It just dies. Fuck! Oh, that's annoying. 
Oh, okay, so I need to go back to the point now before I went back to the ship. Create another droid. Um, that one. Okay, now I know I can just travel back to Earth. Because I do have a fuel cell on me. Uh, the droid has gone from there. Um, we have the dronium and the fuel cell, so we can use that. The key I don't think I need, so I'll just hold on to it for selling. Okay. I just had to be doubly sure, because I actually forgot that I did get all the fuel cells. I forgot they... I just remembered, like, they were mentioning that I have one on board already. Okay, Joe, be impatient. Jesus. Take your time, bro. Why do I have to be caged when I do this? Like, everyone else on the ship isn't caged, but I am. Am I really that wild? I'm probably missing out on so much adventure from going straight home, but I want to do it anyway. <laughs> I wish I could just click the seat button to go straight back to the ship. But nope, I have to do this, this, and that. Oh yeah, the droid went up there. I was wondering why that was already up there. That's a good attention to detail, honestly. Um, I don't know if I mentioned on stream much before, but I was going to see if my mate had computer parts I could use, but like his PC was like older than my one, so like nothing really of his, like, PC was useful for my own. Now we should be good. I just need to skip through the, uh, giving the droid to the tutorial and all that. Okay, coffee bot, let's go. It's funny how we have him, but we could... Well, I keep saying we're going to go back to Earth, but we're probably going to be stopped partway through. To be fair, though, it did say end of adventure, so I'm assuming, like, it probably is, like, actually going to be the end of the adventure. We probably did save, like, Earth and all that. Location unknown, outer space. Oh, that's a good fucking sign. I mean, if it... Push, if it fast forward us like some time, I don't mind. Day and I day. Oh. Code red, code red. A fire just broke out in the panel 5C in the airlock. What? The wormhole decompressed the magnetic seal generator. And that led to a fire? Yes, I was not designed to jump uh, space, Captain. You need to put out the fire. Can you put it out? Yes, I could. But my command routine has short circuited. I only have access to the water sprinklers right now. There's a big chance the water will damage some essential sy uh, ship systems if I use them. I would recommend that you manually take care of it some other way. Uh, where was the fire again? Airlock, bottom floor. Okay, I'll take care of it. Remember, you can always contact me if you change your mind. Wait, what? Reset the alarm while there's a fire, but this freaking annoying sound sure motive. Oh, wait, I need to use the vents, don't I? Wait, how do I use the vents? I'm pretty sure. Nope, never mind, I can't remember. Because if I. Wait, if I can't go up, how do I get there? Oh, there it is. Hopefully I'm not on a time limit like I was before. If I'm on a time limit, I'm fucking dead. Why would they disable the elevator, though? Like... There's the fire. Okay, ship, I'm here. Now put out the fire. Any suggestions how to do that? Not really. My sensor's still down. I cannot really see what's going on in there. You have to figure it out. Just don't get too close to the plasma fire now. Got it. It's not working. Really? Even now, it's still not working?
Never mind. Maybe Shuttle has an answer. What? With what? With a goal? Oh, okay, cool. Piece of paper, yeah, burn it. <laughs> Make it worse. No, Joe, that's not gonna work. Unless the spacesuit suddenly works now, this isn't gonna work. Spacesuit, not really stuck to the wall. Nah, I can't. I'm trying to think what else we can do. There must be something else, right? Oh, yeah! Because I'm stuck here now, right? Bro! The intelligence! The intelligence of the being playing this game right now. No way. No way I just did that. Pressurize the room. Oh, yeah. I mean, it still worked. <laughs> I'll take it. Good job, Captain. I can see that the fire is out. How'd it go? Was something damaged by it? Checking... It looks like all major systems are still functional. There's only minor damage to the panels inside the airlock, but that's something we should be able to fix in no time. Great, thanks. <laughs> what? Wait, there was two endings to that? Oh, wait, was there like an ending where I could just open up the airlock and save the ship or something like that and just tell ship, be like, okay, ship, you gotta go back to Earth now by yourself. Oh, meanwhile? Oh, yep. Epsilon, outer region. <laughs> Sir. Is all... Is it all set? Yes, sir, we're ready to proceed. Before we do, we need to remind ourselves why we came back here. Yes, to locate and secure one of those power cells. Fuel cell, Rob. We're absolutely positive there are no fuel cells on the station. Sir, you did the count compound cell scan yourself. Hmm. I don't have to remind you, Rob, how essential one of those fuel cells is to me and my future plans. Uh, no, you do not, General. If the station is clean, you go ahead with the operation. Yes, sir. Why are we blowing up the station again? I can't let this technology continue to develop here and become ordinary. Besides, there was an expir expiration date on uh, those detonators. I see, not letting anything go to waste. Thinking about the environment. <laughs> wow, they seriously actually- Oh, Jesus. Okay, damn, they just completely destroyed the station. And we're out, still in the middle of nowhere. Where aren't we? Oh, wow, we jumped from here to here. That's mad. And we still haven't gotten here yet, though. So there is still a bit to go. I guess we just keep going, right? Because, like, there's not much we can do. Yeah, it's just asking me about the thing. I c yeah, no, there's not really much else I can do right now. Except, like, actually access thing. I mean, there's no harm. I might as well go to it. Win and seize... Uh, when size and prize matters. It's trip time, 11 days. Store buy. My items sell. <laughs> Just sell all our defenses. We don't need them anymore. Generator V2 upgrade, one in stock. Anti -count countermeasures, anti countermeasure rocket, countermeasures, rocket, rocket, quantum, e capsule, dronium container. Wait, we have a. Oh no, they have a dronium container. Engine, engine. I mean, to be fair, we. Oh wait, no, no. Yeah, I can afford it. Like a dronium container, but then again, that won't be enough because we need two, I think, at the very least. Oh, wait, wrong one. I keep clicking that thinking it's a back button. I mean, do we really need to go to it? Hold on, wait, so if I did that, right? That's 21 days. 
I wonder if it'd be any faster. Private territory. And then there's just a bunch of ships out here. And then eventually you reach the actual shield itself. What time we are? 3.47. We're good on time anyway for now. Uh... I change my mind by the time we get there. I say that, but it won't be too long, like... Estimate, estimated arrival, 11 days. Oh yeah, it was speed 5, I saw. Okay, now we just check. Is that... Yeah, see, now that's... Well, it was the same length, but... Covered by... Uh, Covered planetoid originally not much bigger than the Earth's moon. Decades of overmining have reduced its mass by at least one fifth. Jesus. I mean, is there anything we can find in these places? I'm definitely going to Celtic, though. Very popular vacation spa. The clean water and fresh air, together with the breathtaking sunsets, have made tourism Celtic's biggest export. This is also the mythical home of the legendary Green Fingers. And then there's another train pay up ahead. There's Pi, Space Gate. We'll definitely go into the junkyard as well. How much? That's 21 days. Yeah, because it's a mining planet, we might actually find shit to sell there. And we have, like, what, 600 odd days to fuck around anyway, so we might as well, like. Now, watch the uh, meanwhile screen come up, like. Contact, let's see. Oh, there's actual people here. Frag here. I'm Thomas Swellmoo, captain of the Space Fleet Vessel Conspiracy. Yeah, okay. I'm in the middle of something. Did you want something special? No, not really. What's going on with the planet? The annual mining expo is running. Okay, I see. But that's not what I meant. The planet looks damaged. It's not damaged. It's just a bit used. Used? I'm sorry, sir, but... Uh, you are more than welcome to come down and visit, but I really am busy here. You mentioned an expo. Yeah, an annual mining expo. Is it worth visiting? Well, it's coming to an end. But we still have the Moon Gem Cup left to settle, and there are some minor competitions in progress as well. There's a lot to see down here. If you really gotta go, you if you decide to visit us, we can talk more later. Yeah, screw it, why not? Sure, let's have a... Little look -see. Let's see what's going down on the planet. I love the way it's still like I still click skip, but it doesn't actually skip it, like. God, my fingers are sweating so much I see them wrinkling, man. We have arrived at the ground, Captain. And also can I go back to the ship? What? No, you can't leave now. What do you want to do with uh, that? It's just so dirty and dusty here. Just stay here and wait for me, shuttle. Oh yeah, wait, no, that will just go back up. <laughs> i just go back to the surface before we even have a chance to check out the place. Audience, audience, judge. So ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention? We're about to start the final fight of the day. I know you fine people have been waiting for this moment for a long time now, but let me tell you that uh, moment has arrived. Standing on the rock, we have the young and dashing newcomer and equally strong challenger, Jack the Drillbit Hammer. I know, I'm not presenting very well. And starting at ground level, the current champion and master of the drill we have, the chiseled veteran and well-renowned world record holder of five golden rock trophies, no other than Primo the Pickaxe. Pickafito? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the final showdown in the handheld Harvest Welterweight Class Championship. Is Miner number one ready to drill? Yes, I am ready. And is Miner number two ready to drill? Ready. 
On your marks. Ready? Go! <laughs> Hi there. Who isn't? It doesn't get better than this. But I'm a bit busy watching the final right now. So what is this? What do you mean? What are you all doing here? Just about to find out who is the best uh, welterweight driller in this quadrant. I see. Is this whole expo just for this? Oh no, it's much bigger than that. They arrange competitions for all the major mining classes here. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. We, we, we can move on. Hey there, stranger. You look lost. Can I help you with anything? I don't know. I just landed here because I got curious about this place. I don't blame you. I don't think there is much more exciting spot in the universe at this moment. Yeah, mining sure is uh, exhilarating stuff. So are you here to compete? I'm not sure. I don't know much about mining. Hey, we're all amateurs here. Why not take the opportunity to have some fun? Check the digital board just below me to see if there are open spots. It's a pity more, most competitions are over. The 600 megaton tunneling cup was a nail biter. The worm girls brought it home last night. Or at, at last. Okay, thank you. Digger Dick. Quattrochi Pim. Cameron Comstock. John P. Jones. Dig Dug. Tiffany Transbot. Oh, these are the leaderboards. I didn't even realize. I thought these were people who were doing things. So we can enter the Moon Gem Cup. In the most number of gems from three uh, selected moons, back to base. Each contestant has 10 days to find as many gems as possible. Nah, I'm good. It's <laughs> just the effort. It's a drill shuttle. There's a small sign here. The Shaker Module 3. The most popular electric drill ship ever built. So entry price, long lifespan, and its cost-effective performance made it much easier for anyone who wanted to take up mining on their own. The Shaker was used for lighter ground mining and quickly became the standard model for both individuals and corporations. Nowadays it has been replaced by newer models with even better yield and efficiency, but the Shaker Model 3 will always be remembered for its impact on the mining community. Is that it? To be fair, there's not much to do here, is there? Hi there. If you want to enter competition, you should check out the info screen. Okay, thanks. Oh, I can't even go any further. Hello up there. What? I can't hear you from down here. Or up here. What are you doing up there? What? Are you sure? That sounds dangerous. Hello up there. What? There's an owl up here. Never mind. Yeah, I would enter the competition, but it's just effort, isn't it? To do 10 days of mining and competing when I'm meant to be getting back to Earth, like. Right. Don't worry, shuttle. We're going back to the ship. We're going to Celtic. We're going. <laughs> I love the way I just argued the fact that we're meant to be, like, Going as fast as we can back to Earth, but I'm going on to I'm going to a vacation planet. Like, I mean, it has Celtic in the name. I have to visit it. Like, especially after like talk about the Celtic or the United Celtic um, Kingdom or whatever I was saying earlier. Oh wait, actually, before what's this one? Because of the atmospheric composition, the ship scanner is unable to reveal any data of the planet's surface. Interesting. And what's this one? Small planet with almost no inhabitants. The capital world in this region. The uh, government of Lyme it's, is the owner and operator of uh, the powerful and controversial space gate. There are rumours that Lyme is secretly letting the Union use the space gate to move troops to the space fleet sector. Ooh. That actually might be worth a visit. The most, uh, most of the inhabitants are living in cloud cities high above the sc uh, land. The economy of the planet relies highly on their export of state-of-the-art technology, new transport technologies are currently being developed by its government. A few of them are, like, actually, 
on this thing. The Union is currently using the Lyman Space Gate to reinforce the attack on Space Fleet. Destroying the Space Gate will result in fewer enemy forces at the barrier control. Oh, God, they're giving me so much options here, man. Pirate territory. I guess I'll just go to Celtic. I don't really want to go to Perth. Let's go. Boys, we're going on holiday. I'm sure it's just 600 days until Earth is actually going to die. Like, you know, it is how it is. I keep forgetting I have to actually click to continue it. Captain, yes ship? Just want to inform you that we received some messages upon our arrival. I've rerouted them to your info pad. Oh, it's, is it going to be like a sales pitch person? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Celtic Resort. How may I help you? With the risk of sounding a bit off, what is the what is Celtic? Um, need to get power. I have to go now. <laughs> No problem. Celtic is an all-inclusive vacation resort with a full array of outdoor activities. We have been operational with the aim to please for almost 200 years now. Right now we have the famous Celtic artifact on display. What is the artifact? It's an ancient statue with enormous power that science has yet to fully understand. If you haven't seen it yet, you'll just have to come down and visit us. It's on display from tw uh, 11 local time tonight. I'd like to visit. Is this your first visit here, sir? Uh, yes, it is. Just let your landing shuttle track the destination uh, reception beacon. Have a nice day. Uh, I have to go now. All right, then. I hope you'll decide to visit our beautiful planet. Bye for now. Do I hear a phone going off? I thought that was my phone for a minute, even though it's like right beside me. like. Uh, deliver at least one fuel cell. Lime commercial. Public information message. You are receiving this information spot because you have entered uh, Limian space. Okay. What do I... This message is brought to you by Ministry of Enterprise, a part of Limian Space Trade Federation. Is your government tired of being stuck in this sector? Is your company grown beyond the boundaries of this solar system? Thanks to the low, lower, spa lower space field generator, we can move your company's cargo farther than before. The Space Gates. Speed, precision, possibility. Subscription card, Space Gate. Get your business moving. Buy now. Space Gate, making the universe reachable. Okay. Play it. <laughs> Just play again. Let's see. PI Commercial. World Fair. This is an information notice from the Universal Expi Exhibition Exhibition of Transport. And that's Pi. So that's the Pi world. This message is brought to you by the Trade Federation of Pi. Oh, no. It actually is a Pi symbol as well. Like in maths. Are you in the vicinity of Pi? Come see the long-running exhibi exhibition about the future of space travel. Upper space, the future of clean space travel. Actually, that might be worth traveling to, just to see like what they're doing. Hosted by a Frost Frostia Pure, product design president. Get your ticket now. Ah, sure, I'll just turn up to the planet. They'll probably let me down, right? Cool. Anyway, Celtic. <laughs> Just let's have a little land. Actually, I'll let this play whilst I get some water. Just give me a second. Touchdown. 
Smooth like a newly shaved baby's bottom. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I really don't see why a simple landing complete, sir, wouldn't suffice. I guess you don't, and that's why I report the landing and you do not. Whatever, just wait here, shuttle. I'll be back in the jiff. We'll see. What? Nothing, sir. I'll be here. <laughs> okay, good. Back in a bit, then. Yeah, yeah. Just literally leaves and he just pops back up by himself. Cargo crates. Let's see. Welcome to Celtic. Uh, may I have your name, sir? Yeah, no, I'll just go with Captain. I'll park your shuttle now. Just state your name as you check out and I'll get him for you. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm just going to slip you into the garage. The hell you are, I stand where I land. Excuse me, sir. Your shuttle is making a hassle here. What's the problem there, shuttle? Oh, hi, Cap. This rat thinks he can move me. Yeah, he's going to put you in with all the other shuttles. <laughs> I stand where I land. I didn't land in no freaking garage, so that's not where I'll stand. Sorry, but other guests are waiting to land. You can go ahead, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, just don't let him intimidate you. Hey, move that stick, uh, uh, stick puppet, and you will taste my wrath. I dare you, move it. Hey, I'll freaking land on you next time. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that it was a conveyor belt till afterwards. Like, now that is something you don't see every day. What's it spewing out? The water coming out of that crack is the, the crack in the cliffside is amazingly spark uh, sparkly. Oh, who's this? Oh, they're just random. Okay. Welcome. Have you made a reservation? Of course. May I have your name? Hoshi Tucker. Thank you. I'll now park your shuttle in our garage for you. Uh, you may go to reception and check in. Just follow the sign and it'll point you in the direction. Oh. Fella. I guess I can't talk to you anymore? <laughs> I have to look around, you know? Some empty cargo crates. I guess uh, these are placed here to be picked up with the next cargo delivery. Am I going somewhere I shouldn't? Hello? Just an empty storage or something. Yeah, you're gonna die. <laughs> Joe, get out, you're gonna die. Hmm, I wonder what sign says. It definitely doesn't say just go this way. Let's point towards a big thing. There's a door, reception, recreational agent. Enter reception, uh, bartender, hotel guard, door. I thought that was, yeah, I thought that was actual time right now. I was like, oh, well. Hotel guest, hotel guest. Maybe I can recruit people. <laughs> it's just, it's just would at time, just like, go to everybody and recruit them. Like, um, how do you even get there? Oh, you're literally going to go all the way that way. Shady guy. Hmm, interesting. The artifact. The artifact tonight. Information board. Let's see. On display tonight at the podium. Welcome to Celtic. Uh, Celtic. A place for peace and contemplation. I am Linda, your receptionist. How may I help you? What's this artifact you're showing? Ha, huh, the artifact. Well, that sure is a sight to see. It's an ancient st uh, statue said to have mystical powers. You can find more information in our pamphlet over by the entrance. There's an open event uh, held tonight by the podium where, it'll show, uh, where we will show it. Uh, I'll be back. Firework, store clerk. I want to see if, there's a, if they're actually priced or not. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir, but you need to check in first before you can shop here. Oh, do I actually need to check in? How, wait, how much is it? Reservation. I don't have a... Wait. Um... 
I can't wait. Was a Hoshi Tucker the guy's name? Um, we'll just say that and see what happens. To have your name, sir, you were fully booked for next two months. Do you wish to make a reservation? Nah, <laughs> just nah. Because it looks like we're not gonna actually do thing. Wait, am I even allowed? Excuse me, sir. You need to check in before you can enter here. The reception is just over there. Oh, so I can't even fucking check anyone out. I can't even. That blows. And I've already gone in to. Wait, can I? <laughs> Am I actually going to fucking steal someone's fucking thing? I could just say it anyway. Cool. Um, how was she took her? I think it was. Oh, so I need to wait until someone... Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even... I I'm going to not cause trouble. I know that's boring, but I'm just I'm just not really in the mood to cause trouble. Okay, can you... Hello? Uh, give me my shuttle back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me my shuttle back, like... Oh, the horror. Again, it's no harm going down to the planets because uh, you have not found any meaningful endings. If you leave now, you'll be unable to play the adventure again to start a new game. Yes. I just, I don't know. I just don't really feel like fucking around in the game. <laughs> Nothing accomplished. Wow, what a brilliant card I got there. It's just an effort to lie about all that stuff and then remember the name throughout the thing, you know? Right, let's move on. Um, so we have there, or we can go thing. That'll take 10 days, that'll take 15. I say we go to... Well, maybe even just go straight to the junkyard, honestly. Or even just straight past the trade, because I don't really... Wait, what? There was a lime ad and a thing. That was about the government, wasn't it? And then pie was the thing. Yeah, I think, actually, I'll go to pie. Oh, no, will I? Okay, I'll go to pie and we'll decide if I go to Space Gate or just Junkyard or not. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I couldn't imagine just sitting in a ship for a fucking month just waiting for it to get to its destination, man. That kind of blows, like... Oh, we were stopped part way. Oh, he's hot on our tail. Outer limits of the Great Void. He's going to make us suffer, I assume? Sir. Yes, Rob. Oh, what is all this? Don't act stupid, Rob. You know what all this is. Sir, I do, but I don't understand. What, Rob? What don't you understand? It looks like you are preparing your final transformation, sir. That is correct. But we haven't located a sufficient power source yet. Not correct. No? No. I have been searching through the communication logs between Space Fleet and Epsilon. Some time ago, Space Fleet tried to transport three fuel cells from Epsilon to Earth. Oh. It was a desperate attempt to stop the Union. It failed. If I am to obtain a fuel cell, I need to get to planet Earth. How can you know that? I have a strong suspicion that one or more of those babies are heading towards Earth's uh, Oedipus station as we speak. Oh, I see, but... But what, Rob? Why are you going through with the operation before we have secured one of those fuel cells? Simple. Oh, what the fuck is he doing? It takes a long time to recover from the surgery. Oh my. Is that the machine that you're going with? Yes, it is the clean-cut master from Cloaked in Coverdock, Cop, or Corp, and Rob. After this surgery, I will be somewhat crippled. I'll be needing a wheelchair for some time and won't be able to command the ship as well as before. I'm appointing you temporary captain of the ship. 
Oh, I'm very honoured, sir. Good. I will need you to take us straight to Earth. I don't want to miss an opportunity to get me one of those fuel cells. Of course, sir. Right away. It's gonna make a sound before. Ooh, that does not sound nice. So it was Epsilon, I think they were on about. I need to check the map for where that is. So you see, Captain, the temperature cannot be the only reason for the acid. There must be another factor in play here. Good morning, Captain. Yes, ship. Just want to inform you that we have arrived at our destination. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, but we have to continue this some other time. No problem at all. I have other tasks to attend to as well. Imagine if we had Jeff still as well. That'd be mad. But then again, we wouldn't have been able to use the wormhole to get, like, faster to where we are now. Can we see where the uh, thing ship is as well? Because he's still in the outer region somewhere here, right? And we can see where the sun, uh, what was it, sun blaster is. Grand, okay. And, wait, where is Epsilon? Is that up here? Oh no, Epsilon is Earth, isn't it? No, that's Oedipus. There's a load of outposts, but they're all, like, optional, like. Outer barrier defense grid. Oh, wait, that's back here, isn't it? The Epsilon. No, it's not. Wait, where is it? He's not talking about my ship, is he? Trade and pay. Space gate. Barrier control. I have no clue where he's talking about, unless it's a different place that's just not marked. Wait, go back. Uh, but <laughs> I keep fucking pressing the back button thinking it's... <sighs> okay. Go back. Contact. Welcome to the exhibition center of Pi. What can I do for you? Uh, I was passed by, I saw the exhibition commercial. I see. You're here for the grand exhibition about the future of space travel. Perhaps. All I know is that I got some information about it. That is brilliant, sir. You are one of over 10 billion possible visitors who have received this uh, exclusive mass-delivered infomercial about the exhibition. Sounds really exclusive. I know. I'm afraid that all the tickets are sold. Wait, hold on for a second. You seem to be in luck, sir. We just got some tickets reclaimed. Should I register one for you? How much is it? Right, before we talk price, I'm obliged to inform you about one thing. We currently have an unofficial and highly unwanted exhibition at the location. Oh, you do? Sounds a bit odd. Uh, if you would decide to buy the ticket from our exhibition, I most strongly recommend that you just walk past the con module located before the main entrance. The con module? Yes. It is the notorious children of nature activists that have blessed us with their unwanted presence, I see. They are not part of your grand exhibition then? No, they are most certainly not. So again, how much for a ticket uh, to your exhibition? Yes, that will be... Wait a minute. We just lost the last tickets to a Mr. Bo Bossman. You're not meant to give info out like that, aren't you? You're just meant to say you lost or like just sold the tickets. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. This is a bit embarrassing, really. What planet is this? Between uh, opulent planet of Pi, where we live with the wisdom, so the solution is less pollution. Uh oh. Okay, gotta go. I still think we should land. It <laughs> just I there's a little thing in my head that says land, and see what happens. See what the story is about it. Because there was activists they were talking about as well. Garage Terminal Bay 2, the short parking gar uh, garage is free of charge while the exhibition is open. Please check dates for digital notice. The automatic parking arms are currently out of order. Unauthorized structure. Oh, so that's what they mean by thing. So we're in the garage and we need to 
walk past the um, activists and all that. Yes, that's where I am. The music's kind of remind me of Undertale music. Like the... What is it? The uh, dog music. Temmie. That's it. I'm a part of the conversation too, no? There it is, Con. Uh, children of nature, environmental movement consisting of a dedicated group of people working for the future of the universe. Change the universe. Imagine the universe where planets flourish and moons are full of life, where energy is as clean as a mountain stream, where everyone has security, dignity, and joy. We can't build this future alone, but we can build it together. We challenge the power of broad space energy corporations. We want to tear apart the way corporations and governments collude to make a profit at the expense of both people and the universe. Brother Root. Is there any other things I need to know? Protest leader. Oh, a fellow son of nature. And a space like captain, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, well spotted. Captain Thomas Wellno. Warm greetings, my flower. Uh, thank you, I guess. Uh, are you connected to that giant plan? Or is the plant a part of me? Yes, I guess. All life can live in harmony if you allow it to. Evolution is about relationship and balance. Who are you? Children of nature, of course. Are you synchronized with nature's need of a clean and thriving environment? Uh, no, not really. I'm an outdoor kind of guy. Hold on. I feel strongly that your visit here will change your mind about that. Can I interest you in a short tour of what we have on display? Or do you prefer to stroll on your own? I'd rather go by myself. Of course, you are welcome. Do I stay to ask us any question if you have one? We will gladly explain our point of view to you. Fill the soil data. Could be soil from Earth by looking at its composition. Middle booth. Exhibitor. I will demonstrate in a very visual manner the effects of uh, effects a lower space field has on living things. This field used internally by the Lyman Space Gate. 50 million larger than it's uh, this one here. So let's run uh, the demonstration. As you can see, we have a regular flower. The large item to the right in the display case is a lower, uh, lower space field generator. Look what happens when I turn it on. Huh. Uh, see the effect uh, uh, that the space gate has on living tissue. Okay, but is the space gate not like fucking like millions of miles away from other planets? Like, is it really going to be that detrimental? Space gate module or model. Uh, middle booth. Screen. Sass soil. Easy visualize, but I can't make heads and tails of this. Something about energy efficiency. Welcome to the most important part of our exhibition. Here we show a better way to travel instead of using any of the these new dangerous technologies that keep popping up. We have developed a clean energy source to be used together with regular old-fashioned space travel. So here we have the prototype of our brand new uh, Cyper add-on engine. The bio mixture draws power from the fuel length of a gravitational wave for maximum clean effect. As you can see on the screen to my left, it would produce a slower acceleration but a significantly faster top speed than traditional space engines, and is completely clean, no dirty particles at all. So is there any way to get my hands on this new engine you have developed? Oh, you don't mind? We are currently developing we're currently only giving it away as a reward to the individual or individuals who helps us with the most well, who helps us with our most pressing issue, getting rid of the space gate. Thanks for the info, you're so welcome. There's no point asking them about if they're going to get in trouble, they know what the fuck they're doing, like. We're all adults here. Excuse me sir, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I noticed that you seem to have a genuine interest in our environment. 
Um, I'm actually curious if you might be the right person to ask for something. You see, we're looking for someone who can help the environment in a more, how can I explain, direct and physical manner. What do you mean? It's nothing dangerous, but maybe not entirely legal either. This pie exhibition is reaching its climax and they are getting ready for the main demonstration. We believe that our nature would benefit if this upper space demonstration went less than perfect, if you get me. We want people to understand that this engine is just another piece of crap. Why don't you do something about it yourself? Why ask me? Believe me, we've tried. They never let us in. It's almost like they don't trust us. We need a real enthusiastic outsider to help us. You fit that mold, I see. What do you say? Are you ready to fight for the environment? Nah, I have no time. Okay. We'll be here if you change your mind. Hey, did you know about this new upper space engine is probably as bad as the lower space engine that the space gate uses? What's wrong with the space gate? Are you joking with me? You really don't know? You have to check out our alternative exhibition immediately. In there, we show the sciencey things exactly how bad the space gate is. Just head over to the building next to the garage. It's free. I need to go now. Then I can't go to this, can I? Good afternoon, sir. Your ticket, please. I don't have one. Well, I can't let you in without one. Right, another case of just <laughs> popping down to a planet and leaving. Maybe they could let me in, but again, it's the effort of going through it, though. Um, I think this is also a good point to stop at as well. Once we get back up, um, yeah, I want to leave the planet. I love the way that time, it's like, oh no, there's no endings this time, because you haven't done anything major yet, but... I guess it's because I can go back to it. Play a formally reached ending. Right, let's see, what do we got? We got the space gate in the junkyard. Enemies detected. The scan has detected hostile ships in this area. Enemy squad won. Capture pod. 300. Um. Nah. Oh yeah, the Union's currently using Tang. It might be worth it, actually, to go to, like, go to it and just see, and then we'll stop here. I, I swear, we'll definitely stop eventually. Oh, wow. You have entered a restricted area. The Grand Central Junkyard is a Lyman State-owned security zone. Your presence here is in conflict with no less than 33 paragraphs of the law. The vessel in front of you is part of the automatic security system denied. Uh, you will now proceed to seize your ship. We are also required to recommend you that you do not resist during the process. Hey, hey, hold on. Can we please talk about this? Talk will not change the fact that you are trespassing. Uh, I can't remember... Plasma weapons can be set to three different power modes or a boost mode that increases its efficiency. Uh, laser weapons. I don't know which one it's using. So I think we should attack first. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have something up, right? Oh, but I used all the energy doing that. Uh, laser question mark? Did they just kill me? Hailing science vessel 
Copernicus. Your ship is now being held in a stasis field. Trying to escape the field is extremely dangerous. Even minor contact with the field will result in a massive force uh, on your vessel. The captain of the uh, thing is hereby ordered to report to the outer airlock immediately. There will be a transport shuttle arriving to your ship shortly. If the captain of the thing is on board the transport shuttle within 50 minutes after its arrival, we will consider this an act of aggression. End of message. Oh my. Any ideas what we do here, ship? Not really, Captain. The field around has antimatter, marco filament crystal based frequency. I highly doubt our engines will even start. And our weapons won't have any effect from in here either. I need to go to the airlock down. I'm doing calculation, Captain. I don't see how this can uh, we can win from this position. Oh, is actually did I actually just get a bad ending? <laughs> I probably just did get a band ending in there. Down to airlock and waited for his captors to arrive. The ship that arrived held no crew, but light and sound led Wellmu to a spot in the wall where he was automatically strapped down. The Vault Express Prison Transport Shuttle. Okay. <laughs> just. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our this is the ship's main computer. On behalf of the Lyman Justice Department, welcome aboard the express line to the uh, penitentiary facility, the vault. At our current flight speed, our time of arrival will be several days. At this time, make sure your security harness is correctly fastened to your arms are in an upright and locked position. Also, your portable electronic devices should be uh, stay off or turned off until an announcement is made upon arrival. Your personal belongings have been confiscated until the day of your release. But wait, you just said all electronics should be off, right? Th then I don't have them, like, I can't turn them off. Please direct any questions to the onboard ship support computer during the question period. Thank you. Question period started. Uh, do I have to ha stand here for several days? Question registered. Your current position is arranged for your own benefit and safety. We found it to be the most optimal way to transport biological life forms like yourself. Optimal? My nose is itching. Unable to comply. Question period over. Please stay at your designated spot during the rest of the transport. Okay, I guess this is gonna suck. Several days later. Did I really fuck up this badly? Type A uh, correctional penitentiary. Docking complete. All prisoners please exit the transit ship. Holding cell 3. Inmates, welcome to the vault. The vault is a completely automated penitentiary facility. It's guarded by machines and operated by Next Gen AI. This facility is the property of the Lyman government and its people. Now, it was your biological brain that got you in here, but mechanical machines will decide when you get out. If you at any time misbehave or bend the rules to your liking, you will have time added to your sentence. While well, staying here, you will go through a transformation. This should not scare you, and it should not be something you reject. Embrace this transformation as a gift as it is. We will reconstruct you to a respected and honest citizen of the stars. But until that day comes, you are our property. You will now be proceed or process before final storage. Please pass, yeah, pass through the open door one inmate at a time. Oh my god. Did you see who that was? Who, the big guy? Uh, yeah, the big guy. No, I've never seen him before. That was one of the f freaking Doucet twins. Oh, the- Wait, weren't the twins mentioned? Who are the Doucet twins? What, are you kidding me? The Doucets are like royalty around here. How about you, green friend? Have you heard about the Doucet twins? Yeah, of course. What about them? That was one of them right there. He who just went through the security. Are you sure it was one of them? Yeah, absolutely. I just read an article about them and there were pictures and all in it. Damn. I don't like those guys. It would have been nice to kill them. Why didn't you tell me before? Oh, sorry. Uh, I guess I can take care of him during uh, recreation hours or something. Next. Oh, I didn't even read that. 
I, just keep going. Like, there's nothing to... Really? They want me to go into a specific spot, like... What are you doing to me? Are they just changing my... Oh, okay. Yeah, they're changing my clothes. Lockdown initiated. Harmful inmate interaction detected in entrance. Oh, what? Inmates, move away from each other. Who are you calling fat? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Your personality is fat. Inmates, you're not allowed to touch each other. I'm sorry. Come on, man. Let me go. You're so pathetic. But you know what? You sure do look delicious. Oh, my God. Please don't eat me. Inmates, it's strictly forbidden to eat each other. Hey, blame the machines and their feeding schedule. Not me for being hungry. Oh, wow. What's happening here? Do you have problems with the new inmates? Hmm, I don't think so. They don't seem to be fighting anymore. <laughs> Great, good job then. You have to come with me now. They need some help back at the center block. Cool, a guy like that just exists. To be fair, it is prison, so it makes sense. I'm literally just a human. A short moment later. Yeah, so, uh... Okay, there we go. Now we're saving. Right. Um, that is obviously not the end of the captain. There's still going to be more videos to it, or stream, should I say. Uh, it's already saved, so I can quit game. Right. This was basically the birthday stream, just in case I don't stream later or I don't stream tomorrow. Uh, next stream will probably be me playing the captain again, but it'll be themed after um, the hot tub uh, follower call that we hit today. So, by the time I come back and stream, which is probably going to be a month from now, because honestly, I don't really stream that much anymore. But I'll be a fucking, what, like, Neko boy in a fucking, like, hot tub. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this uh, stream. Make sure to follow for more. And make sure to also subscribe on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube later. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. See you uh, soon.